take my job off the car today. Everybody in favor of the table, please raise your hand again. All right. Is that it? All, all opposed? All right. That was very loud, too, while it goes. <laughs> Motion of the table fails. Sorry. Well, okay. All right. Mr. Herb Kirsten moves to adopt the subcommittee amendment. Mr. Mayor, you have a question? I just want to, just one quick question. That the section three part, the, the explanation that's right here. Can we get through with the amendment on oh, section sorry, five first? Yeah, then we'll get on the bill. And then you can ask a question. Okay. All right. Mr. Herb Kirsten moves to adopt the amendment. Subcommittee amendment. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? No. The ayes have it. Amendment is adopted. All right, now, Mr. Merrill, we're on the bill. Okay. Yes, sir. All I want is, is I understand the, the additional members and all that. Section 3, the bullet point the explanation provided says, authorizes the SCRA to provide guarantees for obligations of SCRA affiliates and other entities to which SCRA has the right to appoint board members. Any questions from Mr. Kirkman on subcommittee amendment? 
Here and I, Mr. Herb Kirsten moves to adopt subcommittee amendment. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Guys have it. Amendment is adopted. Now we can go to amendment number one, which is off of Ms. Allison. I think everybody has a copy of that. No, we don't. No. Mr. Chairman, uh, at the right time, <coughs> I'm going to table this amendment, but I would like to. Uh, do you have, do you have a question? Okay. <laughs> but I want to, uh, I just want to offer some observations as we move forward. Actually, this amendment um, deals with public school and public school choice. And it talks about the fact that right now in statute, we have where if you have a child in one district, and for any reason, whether it be a teacher problem, a uh, problem with bullying, uh, you live on the district line or whatever, you are asked and you want to send your child to another district. The districts themselves have the option, the flexibility, to offer and require the parent to pay a difference if the child goes across the district line. Um, the amendment actually calls for a tax credit for that parent because they're paying property tax, they're paying taxes within the district, and then the child moves to another district for a given reason, and the parent has to pay the difference. I think this is a perfect example of the problems we have in overall education in South Carolina. Uh, we're not offering any tax credits to these parents, even though they're, they're sort of paying a double dip. And if you look on the front page of um, the BEA estimation that they talk about what tax credits can do to the state of South Carolina and the amount of money. I think in many cases we're putting the uh, cart before the horse. We haven't got our house in order. And I know that some of you have heard me preach this before. I am not against tax credits for the taxpayers in this state. In fact, I don't think we're doing the taxpayer in this state the justice that we need to be doing them now. But I think we're going to have to get our house in order in order to make some difference for the state and the taxpayers. We also offer public choice through charter schools. And I remember very distinctly when they came before us and said it will cost this amount of money to have charter public schools in this state. And it was not but a few years later, this past year, that they came and said, we cannot exist at this amount of money. You have, through legislation, developed charter schools, but at the same time, we're going to go under because you're not funding choice in public education at the amount you should. And what we would like to do is to move forward and pull the um, the monies to follow the child. We looked at that and, and saw a, an opportunity to put a line item in the budget for charter schools to fund them. What's wrong in education does not have to do with money. And we as a body have not addressed the things that are wrong in education. We have carters of shame in this, in this state. A quality education really depends on what your zip code is and where you live, where the leadership is, where the dedicated, um, experienced teachers want to go and teach, where principals want to be a principal in school, and when they don't want to be a principal in school. Our Constitution calls for a free public education for all students. I think there are times when we need to address what is wrong in that public education and know that there's not a silver bullet 